the hunting's great. I mean, you've got the best of both worlds. You've got, you know, the sea, you've got the swamps, and yeah, don't really want for anything up here. You could call it home because everyone knows you, everyone's friendly. I mean, it has it ups and its ups and downs, but yeah, it's just like any other community. So my name is uh, Pierre Chevalier and I'm the program manager for Ideas Box for Libraries Without Borders uh, based in Paris. Uh, today we're in Mapoon. Uh, we are conducting a training for the people who will operate the Ideas Box. Uh, the Ideas Box is a small, uh, small library in a box that we bring to remote communities in order for them to have access to library services. And the community is extremely remote, uh, much more remote than any community we've been uh, working in. Well, I was at the uh, International Federation of Library Association conference in France last year. And uh, along with my colleague, Jane Cowell, we uh, were lucky enough to come across uh, a setup of the Ideas Box, which has been designed by Philip Stark and it's a set of uh, uh, really beautifully designed packages to take um, materials and equipment to remote locations. We met uh, coincidentally with, with the head librarian for State Libraries who um, had come across a, the, the concept of this library in a box and uh, there was an opportunity for it to be ho uh, hosted uh, in a remote location. So Mapun said, look, you know, we'd be very keen to be one of those um, sites. Look, it's, uh, it's upskilling our people. That's the main, main thing. Uh, we're a little bit behind other communities because we're new. Uh, sort of playing catch up at times. But, and this is one area where, uh, you know, it gives our mob this other avenue to upskill themselves. Well, I think one of the special things about it is that it's there to, to excite children, but also older people who are wanting to develop their literacy skills. Yeah, I think it's important to have something established here because it's also um, to knowing, you know, the, you, know you, you have the, the Aboriginal culture and also you have the scientific culture in the white man world as well, and bringing that together makes a balance. We, we never want to lose our knowledge and culture. We want to maintain it with all that information of our elders and teaching our younger generation so they don't lose that knowledge from our elders.